Hello my dear students. I hope you all are safe at your place. Welcome to English class. In today's class, we will be learning about a poem written by Ruskin Bond whose title is Don't be afraid of the dark. So children, let's begin with the class today. Children, this poem is written by Ruskin Bond. And this poem tells us about how to overcome from the fear of darkness. Children, many a times we have the tendency to get frightened from the darkness. When there is no presence of light, we fear a lot. So this poem deals with the technique by which we can overcome our fear of darkness. The poet tells a little child, little one, not to be afraid of the dark. The poet says that there is nothing to fear when it is dark. If there is light, there will be darkness as well. So there is nothing to fear from darkness if there is no presence of light. Poet asks to be befriends with the darkness and it is important for the sun to go down after the whole day so that the earth can take rest during the night and everyone can sleep peacefully. Children, here author or the poet Ruskin Bond tells us that the earth also needs rest for which the sun needs to set. So when the sun sets, there is no presence of light. So there is darkness when the earth take rest. So it is also very important that there should be the presence of darkness. So now children, we have some words and their meanings like afraid. Children, what do you mean by afraid? To get frightened. Next, dark. Dark means there is no presence of light. Next is harsh. Harsh means being rude. Next is seize. That means to steal. Now children, let's learn about the poem Don't Be Afraid of the Dark written by Ruskin Bond. Don't be afraid of the dark. Don't be afraid of the dark, little one. The earth must rest when the day is done. The sun must be harsh, but moonlight never. And those stars will be shining forever and ever. Children, here Ruskin Bond says that don't be afraid of the dark little one. Little one means you can see in the picture that there is a little child present in this uh, picture whom this uh, poet is addressing okay that little one don't get afraid of the dark there is nothing uh, dangerous present in this dark okay the earth must rest when the day is done when the sun sets and the day is done and the night comes then the earth needs to rest and everybody who is doing work in the daytime needs rest at night they need to sleep peacefully Next he is saying the sun must be harsh but moonlight never. Children here poet says that sun gives a scorching heat. It gives us light definitely but it also gives a scorching heat. So it is very harsh. It is rude on us but moonlight is serene. It is peaceful. When night comes it is silence everywhere. So everyone sleeps very peacefully and the earth can take rest very peacefully at night and those stars will be shining forever and ever children in the daytime stars are present but we cannot see the stars in the daytime isn't it so we need the darkness to arrive to see the stars now children moving on to the next paragraph be friends with the night there is nothing to fear just let your thoughts travel to friends far and near. Children, here Ruskin Bond is saying that be friends with the night. Night brings darkness with it, but it also brings shining stars with it. So, here poet is saying that do friendship with the darkness, do friendship with the night. There is nothing to fear in that. Nothing dangerous is present in the night. Okay? Just let your thoughts travel to friends far and near. 
let your thoughts whatever you think let your good thoughts travel to your friends who are present near you and far from you okay to the next line children here poet says by day it does seem that our troubles won't cease but at night late at night the world is at peace children as the day begins and the morning starts we also start doing our work and when we start doing our work and we are awake from our sleep then many troubles come in our way right so at day time uh, we are never free from our trouble isn't it but at night late at night what we do we sleep we sleep at peace so here the poet wants to say that at night when it is dark though it is very dark but we get rest we sleep peacefully the earth get uh, gets rest and sleeps peacefully at night so night is also very essential to come so don't ever fear the night or the darkness be friends with the darkness because at night when there is darkness the stars shine and the world take rest so children with this we come to the end of this chapter i hope this chapter is clear to all of you all see you in the next class till then stay safe thank you